Hey, Vinyl Community, cheers everybody. I hope everybody's doing well out there. It's gonna be a short video. This is a, a contest entry for low noise Jason skills. And it's not just a contest entry, it's a celebration, man. Uh, Jason put out a contest to reach 100 subscribers and he's already surpassed that, far surpassed that. So let's celebrate Jason. Cheers to you, dude. Congratulations, much deserved too, because uh, I watch your videos and you turn me on to, to new stuff all the time and it's much appreciated, man. And and he's always uh, commented on my, uh, my channel as well, so uh, thank you for that. Uh, Jason's contest was really, uh, really simple and I like that. It's show a metal record, a punk record, and a synth record. Easy, right? Very cool. So let's get into it. Let's show the, uh, the metal record. Right, that's the first one. This is a band called Black Task. Uh, Black Task was a band from Philadelphia uh, from 83 to 87 and the hype sticker here describes them as uh, a mix of Motorhead, Venom, and early Slayer and I think that's pretty accurate. Very cool and what's even cooler is when I put this you can see the reflection in the uh, in the album of what I film on and I film on a my cat's tower I just prop my phone up against my cat's tower, and that's how I film. And on another side note, uh, speaking of metal, my cat's name is Fenris. You may know Fenris from Dark Throne. So, <laughs> but yeah, on this Black Task album, you're getting uh, the EP that they recorded as well as demos. And uh, this is great stuff, man. Really cool. This is a limited run of 500, and it uh, comes with this really cool poster folds out. These guys look killer, man. Awesome stuff. And then on the inside, there's some cool pictures and also like some write-ups about the band that they got. And it's it's a really nice uh, nice record. Check out Black Task if you haven't heard. Uh, the next one, show a punk record. Jeez, Jason, this was really, this is a tough one for me. <laughs> uh, I, only because I have 90% uh, of my collection is, is punk, but I picked one of my favorite punk records from 1979, The Damn Machine Gun Etiquette. Uh, on Chiswick Records. This is just, it's their third record and it, it, it might be their best in my opinion. I love it, man. Uh, noise, noise, noise. I just can't be happy today. Smash it up. Uh, love song. There's just so much. So much good stuff. Every song is a banger, dude. Uh, really great album. So, uh, my punk record on the show is The Dan Machine Gun Etiquette from 1979. Third one, show a synth record. And I was really excited about this question because I get to show this record. I probably never would have shown anyway. And, and uh, I got this years ago, but uh, it's a band called the Silicon Teens. Uh, this is on Sire Records from 1980. Um, now, the Silicon Teens, uh, the people listed on the back here, Daryl, Jackie, Paul, Diane, these are fictional, uh, fictional characters. They don't exist. There was only one person. It was... Uh, Daniel Miller, uh, the creator of Meat Records, this is all him. And uh, like even for the interviews, they apparently they like hired people to play these people and do the interviews, which is pretty funny. Uh, this is a great synth pop record. Um, there's a few originals on it, but mostly it's uh, covers. And it's uh, they do great covers of Memphis, Tennessee, Do Wah Diddy, You Really Got Me, Do You Love Me, Let's Dance, uh, Oh Boy, uh, Sweet Little Sixteen. Just a really cool record, uh, Music for Parties, The Silicon Teens. That's my synth record, great synth pop, 1980. Uh, so once again, uh, Jason, congratulations, man. You deserve it. Your channel's excellent. And uh, here's to 100 more, bro. Cheers, everybody.